Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Minecraft with Black Dog Z. All right, so today I'm just going to sh show you a quick little look around here. As you can see, we planted some reed. I'm experiencing a little lag on the server today. That's not too too bad though. All right, I'm not to look into why that's happening, but it's not going to be too eventful today, so it shouldn't be a huge issue. So I planted some reed. And it looks like we get to delay our trip to the nether. And the reason for that is I traded two stacks of iron to Arclight for that. That's right, he got me a blast furnace without having to go to the nether. We're still going to go there, but we're just not quite ready. If you take a look at our armor, we just don't have enough power. We still haven't built the headset, the headpiece yet. And so that's something we're really need, going to need to work on here. So, I figured today we would work on two things. We're going to start working with tanks, because our creosote oil has maxed out. So, we're going to work on tanks. Now, if you take a look at tanks, let's go ahead and type in tank. There's several different kinds now. So, if you take a look, you have your basic tank walls, which we used before, iron tank wall. But we've also got steel tank walls. And you'll see that they come in the same sizes, heights 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, diameter 3, 5, 7, 9. You have steel tank gauges and steel tank valves, just like you did with the iron. And what the steel ones do is they hold more for the same size. So if you built a um, 4 high 3x3 three three, uh, steel tank, you get twice as much, I believe, than if you were to put it in an iron tank. Which is kind of cool because steel is technically free. For a stack of steel, it cost me 16. Um, this stuff here, the coal coke. And so I think that is very much worth it. So we're going to build a steel tank. And the reason we're going to build a steel tank is because we got so much creosote that we really don't know what to do with it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is put a tank together. All right. So now we need steel tank walls. So we need steel plates, which means we need a rolling machine. So let me go ahead and put a rolling machine together. So a rolling machine is going to take four pistons, a crafting table, and four iron. That's not too, too bad, actually. Um, so let's go ahead and start by building a couple of pistons. So for four pistons, we're going to need four of those. We're going to need four of these. We're going to need wood, and we're going to need cobble. We're just going to grab a stack of cobble, stack of wood, and we'll get to work. Okay, first things first, we need to make some planks. Well, little 20 planks should be enough for now. And now in theory, all I need to do is that. Look at that, four exactly. It's because I already had the exact what we needed for, for that. Now I'm also going to need one of these. We're going to need four more. So, we take our crafting table, put it here. Put four pistons around it. Four iron ingots, and that gets us a rolling machine. Now, rolling machines, by default, require Minecraft jewels. And unfortunately, we don't have any. We have no Minecraft jewels to be seen. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to put the rolling machine down there. And we're going to build an engine. Because that's how we roll. Now I'm thinking for our engine, we're going to start with something real simple that I actually kind of like. So if we take a look at our engines, we've got combustion, sterling, redstone, clockwork, biogas, heat fired, electrical, and steam. We're actually going to make a clockwork engine. So it's going to require a clock, copper gear, piston, and some other stuff. Alright, so let's start with the piston. Again, just that that. I should be able to click clockwork, click piston, click check mark, get a piston. Alright, so now we are also going to need a gear. Gears are really easy to make. We've seen them before. As long as I don't mess up, we end up with a gear. Now what kind of gear did we need? We needed a copper gear, so we're going to need copper. So we take a gear, and we put copper around it because we've got our stone gear. Now we got a copper gear. 
Now, I haven't made one of these in a long time. A clock. Just redstone, four gold. Okay, I can help that. Wait, what do you think that's okay? Aluminum brass. Hmm. I'm going to use gold, but you could use aluminum brass. The reason I'm using gold is because I have gold here. Don't make aluminum brass very often. So we'll just make that clock. So now we just need a piece of glass, which I should have back here. And we can see here that it's daytime right now, but it's getting close to night. Love these clocks. Don't use them all that often because they're not that great. But they're kind of neat. So, oh, we don't have quite enough wood. Break up another one of these. And I'll just do this. And bam, we have a clockwork engine. Clockwork engines are fairly new. And how they work is you hit them. So if you right-click, hold it, it will sit there and charge up. And you want to stop right about now. Just a few hits after it turns red, and you'll notice it starts to power up. Not a problem. Get plenty of MJ out there, and that's going to allow our rolling machine to operate. So, we're just going to go here and do that. And now, as long as we keep, as long as we keep our rolling machine going, we're going to keep getting power. We're going to keep getting steel plates. It's going to take a little bit of time. So that is how we're going to do it. I think it's about eight hits into the red and it explodes. So you don't want to do that. That's a bad idea. Apparently it really hurts. So it's not something you want to do. It is going to take a little time to complete. But that's all right. We've got plenty of time on our side. Another item I'm working on right now is in here. It requires tons of stuff. I've got lapis plates and electronic circuits and energy crystals and all sorts of things like if you take a look i've got all sorts of weird things in here bronze and things like that and what i'm actually working on if we go back to nano i'm working on the nano suit helmet looks like they've recently changed the um the crafting recipe for it so when we got the update to ic2 changed the crafting recipe at one point these required four diamonds a piece now it's only four lapis plates. That's a little easier. So, I think I have all the lapis plates I need for both of them. I have the copper plates and the electronic circuits I need for both of them, if I'm correct. I only got two electronic circuits. Okay. Doesn't this require just regular electronic circuits? All right. So that means I'm going to need to build two more electronic circuits. I don't have any copper. Okay, I'll have to make two copper plates. So we'll start by doing that. Oh wait. I remember more copper plates were needed. So I go in here. Yes. So that's five there. Each one of these needs two of those. So that's ten. So eleven copper plates. So I need twenty-two copper plates. That's right. That's why I was smoking copper. So I'm going to need twenty-two copper plates. So we're just going to do this. Twenty-two copper plates. I probably used up most of my hammer. Yes, six useless left. But that's all right. What else did we need for this? For these heat exchangers, we needed three, six tin plates, and uh, six tin plates. All right. And I have six useless left. That's gonna work out perfectly. There we go. I've only got two electronic circuits in here right now. That's all I need to make those. And then we can work on some of the other things for it. So we'll go like this, we'll go like this. Oh. Oh, I only made enough for one. Yes, I need more. Tin plates? Yeah, I'm going to need more tin plates and two more electronic circuits. Jeez. Alright, so. Go ahead and make another hammer. 
Luckily, we got some sticks. There we go. Got six more tin. Okay, I'm gonna need six more electronic circuits. I'm gonna need another six copper. I need my tin as well. I'll be back here. Oh, I had them on the that time. Yeah, let's power this thing back up. All right. First thing we do is we hit them with the hammer. We gotta make sure to only do six. Like this is twelve of those. We can't look at that ton of Top of the we need two iron, two redstone, copper iron, smack that down. As you can see, it's not exactly an easy process. But, in the end, probably should have made more of this. I didn't think about it. In the end, it's going to be worth it. Okay, so I've got my four heat exchange. That's probably the hardest part of that recipe. For this guy, I just need four more electronic circuits and I should be good to go. Even if you want to make extra, it would not be a big deal. Because, not that we won't use them. So I can just make one of these. Right? Almost make two. Oh, there's some copper too. I can make two. Alright. I should have a little bit of two of those, two of those, four of those, yeah. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and make one more of those. I need... Close. As you can see, this is not going to be an easy process. I'm going to need reinforced glass, illuminators, rubber, and an advanced circuit, and an advanced party battery. So there's a lot of work involved, but slowly but steadily, we are getting closer to being done with it. Um, we have this stuff here. I'm just going to shove this in here. It's a little extra stuff. That's good. Alright, so we've got a ton of this stuff that we need. We're getting closer and closer. 
See where that's at. So it's at 48 steel plates. So we can probably take that and get started. So of course the tank walls are super simple. Eight tank walls. 24, 32, 99, and eight at the bottom. So three wide. Oh, how I know it was five. I don't know. So we're not going to make any more right now. We're going to decide where we want to put this. And I believe we're actually just going to dig down underneath and we'll put it there. So I don't want to this it Might be a little dark in here for you guys at first. I'll get that fixed up as quickly as I can. There you go. find you want to leave shit. Well, that's wrong, Adam. And of course this all has to be dirt, doesn't it? Sorry, I do have my hammer. And a jetpack. Now I can do things like this. This is one of my favorite things to do with the uh, hammer. Uh, some of you may not have thought of this, some of you may have. Bam! So what I just did there, well, I took down three in one hit, because I was smart enough just to stick a piece out. So the hammer would line up right. This is just going to be the start of a basement. Well, uh -oh. of course, I'm using my luck pickaxe here because I want to get as much coal as possible. We always seem to be running low, so the more we can get, the better. Of course, my luck pickaxe isn't fully ready yet, but it does okay. So slowly but steadily this room is coming out. Unfortunately, we're not running out of time. So what do I see here? I'm making a three by three. Okay. Knock up this wall. There we go. One, two, three, four. I'm going to make one of those. 
Okay, so, alright. So this should be one, two, three, four, five by five. Oh, it's a start. To a basement, anyway. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you guys here. But, I want you guys to comment on any ideas you might have for, uh, for powers. We still haven't received those yet. I want to know what kind of power you want to see me build. Um, do you have any ideas? Because we really don't want to go with the old school tree farm power, but we know we're going to need massive power. Especially if we plan on being up like a tree. We are ahead at this point. We didn't tell them that. We're ahead. And we don't want them to find out. So the plan here is to take out this basement. It's going to be a nice place to store all that, uh, that stuff because the nice part is I didn't know this before. I don't know if it was a thing before. You can use that stuff as fuel. So I'm going to use that as fuel at first um, just to keep things moving. turn down coal, because more coal means more creosote, means more fuel, it's probably getting a little dark in here, right. now for this particular spot I'm actually just going to cover it back up, I could care less about the lead, area. Um, I'm not quite sure what all we're going to do yet, but we're definitely going to do a lot. So, like I said, leave me comments and suggestions on what you want us to do for fuel, how you'd like us to implement it, things like that, because I want to know what your comments are. I'd like to know what you guys think we should do for fuel. Alright. Uh...